Hi. If you, like me, want to use a Kiki Tuboard in an H um, quadcopter, um, you might find out that there is no predefined configuration in the in the Kiki Tuboard. Um, and what I'm gonna um, show now is how to edit the mixer values, how to find out the values to put in the mixer for your specific configuration. For example, if you have a dead cat configuration, uh, an H quadcopter, as I said, or any other, you can actually um, set your own um, values for up to the H eight channels that uh, the KG2 board can uh, handle. With, can handle. So I will start um, just drawing. Uh, basically, you have to start. Um, Building out the angles that your quadcopter has for the motors. This is, for example, uh, um, in my case, I would have uh, I have an H frame. Okay, so actually I have one motor here, one motor here, one motor here. You calculate. You can easily calculate um, the distance that the flying the forward direction. Okay, so in my case, I have if I this rectangle, um, I have it that this is 300 millimeter, and this is 390. Okay, so that's the main dimensions that you can easily find out in your quadcopter. In case it is a quadcopter, um, so what you want to know is just two angles which are this one which we call beta and this one which is called alpha once you find out these uh, angles which in my case are beta uh, was uh, 52.43 you can round it, you don't need to put two decimals if you don't want an alpha 37.57 okay then you calculate the, the the sine of these two so sine of beta in my case is 0 0.79 and sine of alpha in my case is 0 0.61 so this is one thing. So we got these two values. Now, if you check the mixer editor, you will find out that the for every channel, one, two, three, and four. In my case, the four motors, motor one, two, three, and four. You have four values that you can put, which are in this order: this throttle. You have a uh, aileron, you have elevator, and you have a uh, rudder. Okay. So, um, in case of a quadcopter, um, in this, the the signs um, will not change regardless of the distances you have here between the motors. So you just keep them in the same way, which are plus, minus, plus, plus for the motor one. For the motor two, you have plus 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 one. I minus, sorry. For motor three, is plus minus minus plus, and for motor four, is plus plus minus plus. Okay, and now the only you have to think you have to do is to plug in the proper values, sorry, that we find out here. This angle corresponds actually beta, so. The, from the forward direction till the this um, line connecting the center and motor and this motor, this beta correspond to the elevator and this to the aileron. In our case, we keep, or usually actually not in our case, but usually throttle and rudder and rather is you keep it at 100. So you don't want to 
uh, in principle um, tell any motor to apply more or less torque than the rest that's what this 100 does so it's telling that motor one you apply um, all the, the the power let's say the is actually is a relationship between the motors so but just you can check other videos where it can be explained maybe even better but uh, what I'm gonna just go to the point how to plug in this so we have now these values here 0 0.79 0 0.61 so the only thing you have to do is uh, to multiply by 100 and put it in the proper place. So for example, elevator, all the elevators would be here 79, 79, 79, 79, and in the aileron 61, 61, 61, 61. So now you have these values and then you, the only thing you have to do is to go to the Take it to board to mixer that's sorry the motor layout that's the motor layout that I have loaded okay so the only thing you have to do is go to the mixer editor and for every channel you see here channel one that you can change to channel two three four and because it's a quadcopter there is the rest of the channels up to eight are zero so you plug in the values that I just um, showed you how to find um, here. So you can see here that for a quadcopter, symmetric quadcopter, um, the, um, the aileron and the elevator is 71. Minus and plus here, plus and plus here, plus and minus here. And this is because in a quadcopter, let's see if I can come back to the paper. In a symmetric quadcopter, in X, for example, what you have is a square, right? And if you make the same and you find out beta and alpha here, this is 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees, and the sine of 45, which in this case are will be the same for alpha and beta is uh, 0 0.71 a way to explain this is that <clears throat> in this case if you want to apply pitch or, ro or roll for the same angle of pitch or roll that you want to change it will apply the same amount of uh, um, it will distribute the, the power to the motors in the same proportion in other words the pitch or roll the motors that are accelerating and the, and the ones that are decelerating for creating the pitch that you want will be decelerating and accelerating in the same way than the, for the same angle in pitch because it's symmetric and this is because the moment arm between four pitch for example the moment arm of this motor with respect to the center is the same that the moment arm of, of this and this of course for the roll but if you don't have a square configuration like I like in my case um, you what you have to do is to put the proper numbers so that here this moment arm a it's much smaller than this B which means that to to pitch in the same angle than the roll okay um, to pitch because of this moment arm is so small compared with this to pitch these motors let's say we'll need to accelerate or decelerate um, in a greater way than this or this for roll so that you have the same moment with respect to the both axes creating the same angle in pitch or roll so that's why it's important to put the proper numbers which I show you how to find so I hope it's useful and I hope that uh, um, you uh, you are satisfied with the result because this really changes the the behavior of the quad yeah thanks for watching